HQ is presented by Jersey Mike Subs with Amanda Guerra. I'm Chris Hassel. It is my favorite week of the sports year. I've got the sports line optimal bracket right here. I know you can't read it, but we are going to go through it this hour on HQ. I mean, you're glowing is what's going on. Do I like, look good? You look I feel good. so happy. This is the happiest you're ever going to see. Uh, Chris Hassel, at the beginning of about three weeks, he's going to walk into work every day with a smile. He's going to bring you his best here on HQ. That is until that bracket is busted. We have officially made it to March Madness. In an NCAA tournament that's seemingly wide open beyond the favorites to win it all, the Gonzaga Bulldogs, which players are capable of putting a team on their backs to cut down the net to New Orleans? Speaking of the Zach, they're favored to win their first ever Natty for good reason. They have two of the best players in the country with big men, Drew Timmy and Chet Holmgren. Timmy and the Bulldogs fell one game short last year, and he appears determined to not let that happen this time around. Going to work through Timmy. As for Holmgren, the freshman sensation figures to be one and done. But for now, he's focused on getting Gonzaga over the hump. Holmgren catches, sets, shoots, and hits the three-point shot. Paulo Banquero is also likely one and done, but he would love to send Coach K out with a sixth national championship in his final NCAA tournament. Big Caro rocks the rim! There was no player in college hoops this season that dominated as consistently as Kentucky Wildcats big man Oscar Shibwe. After transferring from West Virginia, Shibwe will look to lead Big Blue Nation to their first title in a decade. Dunk it in the other end for Oscar Shibwe. The Auburn Tigers have risen to new heights with dynamic freshman Jamari Smith, who will also try to lead the program to their first ever national championship. My goodness, what a day for Jabari! March Madness is in full swing. Who will be the last team standing in the big dance? The road towards cutting down the nets in the Big Easy is about to get underway. And let's welcome in the dynamic duo behind the Ion College Basketball Podcast, Matt Norlander and Gary Parrish. It's not often we get you guys together on air, so I'm going to milk this for all it's worth. Uh, let's start with the player to watch in the tournament. You guys are going with two different teams, but two players who faced off just yesterday in spectacular fashion. Matt, we'll start with you. Yeah, my player is going to be Jaden Ivey. GP is going to mention the other one, which is too funny and too perfect because I also mentioned uh, GP's player on the HQ Selection Sunday special show. Jaden Ivey's my pick because I think he's good enough to help make Purdue uh, get a big run here. Purdue was my preseason pick to win the national championship. All right, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm maybe shuffling off that just a little bit, but I do think Ivey is good enough to actually have Purdue make a very deep run in this tournament. If anything... Uh, because Purdue didn't win the Big Ten championship, I almost feel like it's kind of tucked away in the bottom left of the bracket there. Uh, Ivy is a potential top three pick in this year's NBA draft. This is a huge stage. I consider him a, a college star of the highest order, and this is a big moment. I think he comes up big, and I think he helps Purdue make a very deep run in this NCAA tournament, GP. Uh, Jaden Ivey is terrific, uh, probably the best NBA prospect from the Big Ten, but the best player in the Big Ten is Keegan Murray, just led Iowa to a Big Ten tournament title. He's averaging 23.6 points, 8.6 rebounds per game. He is the leading scorer in the country among power conference players, and he's a tremendous story. You know, coming out of high school, he was you know just a whatever recruit, and as a freshman, he was just a role player You know, in the shadows of Luka Garza the national player of the year. But if you are looking for the biggest breakthrough player in college basketball and somebody who is a real threat, I think, to Oscar Shibway to win national player of the year, it is Keegan Murray. He has not only developed into a great college basketball player, he's also a legitimate NBA prospect now, a certain first round draft pick and somebody who, given the way he and his teammates have been playing, could carry the Hawkeyes pretty deep into this bracket. Let's do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.